cup table name. So I remember it as I have created as customer cust underscore classes comma the result column I want. So there is only one column, so I'm going to use the same column right? Let me go and see. I don't remember exactly the column name. So EDW. Where is the customer? Okay, I'll have to refresh this one. Only then it's going to come here. Oh, I have run the job, so it should be here now. I, I see the table here. This is the one I created. And uh, these are the records I have. So I'm going to look up on the same field, cust underscore classes. That is my my written code actually. So I'm going to use, uh, instead in general, they use a number saying 1, 2, 3, 4, so that you know there are seven classifications. That is all we, we can actually do that. We are going to do that too. So in this customer class if I wanted to um, give this is my table that I wanted to look up and the return field. What I wanted to return is the customer class if itself based on what default value uh, is something and then uh, uh, cache specific you wanted to cache it or no cache and then compare columns based on what columns you want to compare you are going to give it there so these are all the options this is one way we can create but let me show you another easy and beautiful way of doing it because this is something which after you become an expert you can do it so let me not show you this this way of doing it instead what I will uh, do is I can always insert a schema here because this is also one of the options I wanted to show you and, and so I, I wanted to show it like this new output schema insert below here you can name the schema as you want and then instead of the above one you can make use of this one as your lookup give me one other second guys uh, there are more than one ways to build a lookup so I'm just thinking what would be the better way because today I uh, not, uh, not think about giving you a lookup as an example but just that I got it into mind immediately I wanted to do it so let me name it as lookup itself And this one I wanted to actually make use for the uh, for the lookup. And the, as I told you, there are more than one ways to uh, do a, a lookup. So we we say a new function call, and in this lookup, I can always uh, do any function. But currently, you see here, I I am getting only lookup function as lookup underscore ext. Uh, we should always get all the three functions here but it's because it has given this lookup underscore ext as I told you there is not much difference let us use this I will show you more than one ways to create the same lookup but currently let us use it columns in the lookup table and the expression you wanted to pass to the lookup table this is a condition what is the lookup table first that is important so let us go here pick it up our lookup table is cust classes Oh, I don't see the table here. Why I don't see it is I don't have it here. It is in the template tables. Mm. So first thing I'll have to do is I go here, make it as a permanent table before I use it. So if I say import table, I get it here. So here uh, I wanted to insert a new function. So new function call, insert below and go to lookup functions it is giving you the lookup exp and in the lookup table uh, pick up the edw customer class as your uh, lookup table and you have preload cache on loan and demand load cache but uh, do not uh, think too much what is this cache what is no cache it is all 
memory tables it will create a memory table and store the data into the memory so that it is easy for it to refer to have it locally and refer is easy in general what we use is a no cache so that it won't do anything but preload cache is also good if you want it to use it for certain volume of data if it is 10000 or 20000 you can also use preload cache but currently let me go with no cache run as a separate process it is not required uh, it is required when there is a huge volume of data column in the lookup table is this one is equal to what is the expression i i can go and say uh, from this so and so table uh, for this so and so column use it so it will customer classification is equal to and it is not picking up why why is it not picking up okay so it picked up and then column in the lookup table expression and output column is the same thing which we want right so we we do this and uh, order by uh, if i don't order by even there is no harm but uh, I am not very satisfied with the example I am giving. I actually wanted to give a better example. That's where I'm I'm noodling. Let me not do the lookup now, guys. I I know it will you'll get confused if I just show you the lookup like this. I I wanted to do the lookup in a better way with the right example. So pardon me. Uh, I don't wanted to show you the lookup now. Let us go with the regular flow so that I get. A good example and then prepare my mind before I give you anything. So uh, I apologize for what the last 10 minutes confusion. So let us look at uh, in, a, in a different transform. Lookup will come back. Right? After I use the SQL transform, I wanted to show you actually the merge transform and also uh, the map operation. These are very important transforms which I wanted to cover today and I have examples for that. So let me let me show you the one which I prepared my mind to show. So in the, uh, this customer class, if anyhow, is is a good example that you wanted to create something distinct. This is the way. Check the box as distinct so that you get the data, uh, no redundant data, and you are creating a snowflake schema and trying to extract dimensional values from a table. This is fine. Let that be there. There is no harm. In it. We'll do one more data flow where we'll do the merge transform. Merge transform, the name itself says it is going to merge data. So what data it is going to merge, it is all up to you. So let us go and see uh, any kind of uh, uh, tables that we have in the stage and merge it before we load it to the target. So let us not take the example of customer. Instead, I wanted to do a sales order. So in this, I wanted to take two tables, merge the data, and then load it. Merge is nothing but if you if you know database, merge is just a union hall. You are trying to get all all data that is in a table, and also uh, I mean in the mathem mathematic terms, it is union hall. You have three operations: union, intersection, and union hall. Union hall is everything from pocket A, everything from pocket B. Do not try to see if there are some duplicates, get everything. Whereas union is, it will try to combine. If there is some record that occurs in pocket A and if there is the same record in pocket B, it will make as one record. That is not possible. Doing an union is not possible in data services. Uh, guys, one second. Uh, I'm going to be here till 12 o'clock. Because I, I was in a conference room there, just checking uh, at what time I will leave. I have this book till 12 o'clock, so that's fine. <laughs> so I was uh, I was trying to, what I was trying to tell you about uh, what transformation I was using. Guys. Someone, someone tell me please. I... Yeah, merge transform. So we are trying to use uh, the merge functionality, and as I was telling you, merge is union all in database. There is no direct union 
uh, I mean, there is no direct transform or function that can do an union inside our our environment. I mean, data services environment. So if someone wants to do an union, then you'll have to do it the database. And just that you know, union always is a very uh, killing functionality. It it kills the database resources a lot. In 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 a, in a, if you have some DBA uh, CEO using a union statement, he will always say. Uh, don't use it because it's going to take full resources of database if there is a high volume of data. But here I wanted to show you an example, uh, a relevant example to make use of a merge. If let us say I have two uh, different tables which are these dimension tables which I have extracted from different sources. For example, I'm doing this. So these are the two dimension tables which we created in last class using our case state. Let us look at the data, how it is. This has a region 1, whereas this one has a region 2 data. Now we are considering it, these two tables came from different environments, guys. So it is an example. So in general, if you wanted to make it more relevant, you can actually say this is from MySQL and this is from Oracle. So think it in that way, they are from heterogeneous sources. And you wanted to merge these two before you insert into the target. So how do we do it? We can always use a query transform here just to uh, get the data. But then if there is no operation or no filtering condition, we need not use. But I still suggest always make use of query transform. So I say URY extract. Um, OK, if I do this, I have to do two query transforms because it has to extract from two uh, separately. It cannot it cannot do at a time. So in general, if we have any filter condition, we do this. But as a matter of best practice, I'm doing it. This one, I'm just naming it as 